Hey, what's up? My name is Joe, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this. This is a new series of videos where I'm going to go through past projects and break them down for you. Now, these won't be full flesh tutorials, but in the process, you'll probably pick up some tips and tricks along the way. And most importantly, I hope it inspires you to create your own art. So let's get started. The first step was to take this photo of the rock formation and mask out the arch area. Once it was masked, I duplicated the layer and flipped it vertically by going to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. I adjusted the bottom arch layer so it aligns with the top. Then I added a mask to adjust the area where both of these elements meet in the middle. This helped to give it a more natural look. After that, I grouped both of the arches in a folder and then I added a hue adjustment layer that I clipped to that folder. I then adjusted the saturation and brought it down a bit. Next, I brought in the image of the guy walking and masked him out. Once masked, I converted the layer into a smart object. This way I could resize it later on without worrying about losing resolution. I used the same steps as before to create the second flipped image of the guy. Additionally, I flipped it on the horizontal to match the lighting with the rock element. At this point, I'm starting to get into some lighting adjustments. The first thing I did is add a levels adjustment to the group folder. I wanted to make the shadows a little bit lighter to get a little bit more of the detail from the rock. Next, I added a solid color overlay with the blending mode set to soft light. This is a quick way of color matching tones while giving it a slightly faded look to it. I played around with different colors and opacities until I found something I like. Next, I added a new layer and grabbed a large soft brush set to white. I painted the top left area to give the illusion of a light source coming from it. To exaggerate the lighting, I added a gradient layer in place of the solid color background. I adjusted the colors of the gradient to match the scene, and to finish it off, I added a noise layer set to overlay. This helps add a little bit of texture to the background. In order to add the reflective texture on the bottom arch, I used a displacement map. If you want to learn more about displacement maps, be sure to check out my tutorial I have on my channel. I go into depth on the type of images that work best for these types of textures. I then added the same texture effect to the guy on the bottom. I used a soft brush to add a little bit of glow and lighting around this area. I added a bit of haze on the right side by using a large brush with the opacity set to 10 and the color set to like a gray. I then used a subtle gradient to use as a reference for a horizon line. I grabbed my soft brush again and with the color set to a darker gray, I darkened in the bottom right side of the canvas. I then set the blending mode to multiply, adjust the opacity, and move the layer down closer to the background. I then added a color lookup adjustment layer and cycled through the different effects until I found something I like. Next, I brought in the cloud image. I changed the blending mode on the cloud layer to linear light, added a hue and saturation filter to it, and brought the saturation down to zero. Lastly, I brought the fill level down to 18. To blend in the bottom arch, I grouped the layers and added a mask to the group. I then took a soft brush and masked out the bottom area to make it appear that the reflection was fading. Now to wrap up, I added some final color treatments. I added another solid color layer, but this time instead of setting the mode to soft light, I set it to exclusion and dropped the opacity down to around 12. I then added a curves adjustment layer to give it a little bit more contrast. I went back to the solid color exclusion layer and adjusted the color one more time. The last step I did is brought this image in and set the blending mode to screen. This gave it a nice subtle bit of texture. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments and like this video.